uh, this is real random, uh, but just do this real quick. Um, figure some of you guys do a lot of sampling, and uh, you're just learning how to sample or whatever. Uh, this video is to show you how to uh, detect clipping and to go in and basically rewrite. I'm using Sony SoundForge. You can use any Wave Editor like Wave Lab or even your DAW uh, Pro Tools or so Sony, so Sony uh, I'm sorry, not Sony, Cakewalk, Sonar, um, Cubase, whatever. Okay, so we're looking at the wave here. I'm basically trying to find the clip. So we're looking at the wave. This is the left and the right signals, right? Okay, so uh, I'm trying to find an area that's clipping. So uh, here, the top of this line is uh, 0 dB. Same here, 0 dB on both sides of the wave. So this is the left wave. This is the white wave. Or if you have headphones on, this is the left ear. This is the right ear, right? So boom. You got your wave. Of course, it's a stereo track because you have both ears. Uh, if this is 0 dB, you can see as the wave pops up here, I have some pops and clicks in this uh, wave that I don't want to be in my sound, which is cool if you're doing old school hip-hop sound and, you know, got vinyl. Those pops and clicks, you want those to be in there to uh, accentuate uh, the feeling. But on this particular sample, I don't want any pops and clicks in, so I'm going in manually. Now you do have some editors that will go in and detect the clipping. Um, some cases that's good. Um, sometimes it over detects and uh, it messes up your sound. I'm um, talking too much but I'm trying to find a pop. Okay so here's one right here. You can see on this particular uh, sound bite. I'm going to highlight this area. Actually I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. I'm going to zoom in really close so that you can see the actual point that it goes above 0 dB. Now, this area here is the where, the place where you tear people's speakers up. You don't want your wave to be popping and clicking and your uh, low signals to be so loud where uh, you have distortion. Um, and so, basically, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to highlight the exact area where we have the pops and clicks. You can see here in the peak of the wave, you're getting just at 0 dB, but not quite. That's probably like 0 0.8, 0 0.9. But here, you have the wave going over. Of course, I have a uh, gate here, but you can tell that it's traveling outside of my gate when I sampled. So, what I'm going to do is go inside of my editor, and you see these little dots these are areas that highlight points in your sound. I'm going to select my pencil tool and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to rewrite the wave so that it doesn't pop here in this particular area. So you can see where it was going above 0 dB. I rewrote it to go to about 0 0.7 and you can do that with any wave editor. Okay, that's what the wave editor is for. It does a lot of other things, but that is one of them. So, just a real quick tutorial for y'all, because I know I haven't been up on this YouTube stuff. Um, going to be back with the uh, iPhone iMachine tutorial real soon. Alright, peace. <laughs>